Okay, let's do it now. <laughs> what, just a cover? Yeah, let's, let's film first. Okay. Fil you get so distracted, I love it. Fair the rover. Just okay. trust me, trust me, trust me. I'm not complaining. I'll get as close to you yeah, as possible. Get as close to me as you want. Hello, it's me. me. I was wondering if, if after all these years you lied to me. I tried. Maybe we should be singing. Maybe. Was that recording? Okay, can you sing me Just my butt. <laughs> I mean. Oh, that's right, I was gonna say something gross. Hello gorgeous, I'm the fairy voice mother and today I'm going to be reacting to Jeff, Jeff Tate. Tate. A very special request indeed by none other than it's Julia Nyland, contemporary voice specialist. Hello. I'm the luckiest woman in the world. I'm so excited to be, first of all, in space with you is amazing. When Lolly asked like, what should I react to? I was like, I have to show you Jeff Tate, because I absolutely adore him as a vocalist. I think he's incredibly talented. So today we are going to be diving into Take Hold of the Flame by the band Queen's Rack. Jeff Tate is the lead vocalist of it, and this is the live in Tokyo 1984 version. Oh, so, uh, how do you dive in into music? I would say let's get into it, but. I, I generally just talk about things that aren't interesting. For example, I, I burnt that. my pinky a few weeks ago, and I've been updating people on the progress I of the, what that was. the healing of my pinky. It was a tea related injury. I was Oh my that. god, you're so English. So, if you want a pinky update, it's still grim. <laughs> and that's been the intro of my last set of videos. Oh my god. This okay. is a kind of place I love you this chaotic energy. <laughs> this is amazing. We're gonna dive in? Let's dive in. Okay. <laughs> I love a chaotic energy. Plenty that kind of, of energy is my favourite. Must be able to get on so well. <laughs> I spent so long breaking down his voice because I just. Just the voice, the colours. I just. Mm. I don't want to give too much away. I just adore him, okay? Be cold as a flame. Jesus, this is a colors, this is a rainbow. He, we're there, then we're down. There is just everywhere. The larynx is having a right movement festival in there, and the resonance is just reflecting on so many different areas in the in the pharynx. Yeah. She's in for it. I'm she in. doesn't even know. She doesn't even know yet. Don't get too caught up right now, sweetie. There's more to go. I always do that. I'm like, let me just no, pick a part. That's okay. I do the same thing. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, I just want to roll in it. Mm. And then look at what I'm rolling in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's a, a simple melody but put in so many places in there, you know what they're capable of as well. So it's kind of that element of excitement of like, if this is how he plays with something quite, you know, I adore his phrasing. Not particularly grand intervals, then mm. I don't. Also, the jacket. Pops! 
how how's that so the not only does he have that incredibly colorful resonance but then the control of the pitch it just pops right in this is why i love him I'm, I'm in love with his voice i don't really know where to start okay so the um <laughs> So I knew this would happen. I feel bad, but I also am so excited just getting to hear him. This is stability, colour, depths and highs. So when we see this transition here, we've gone from like a thick dominant sound. That is like, yeah. when did that happen mm. and where? The tone that you're looking for is it's very bright on the second two words, but there is a space to it. It's just very twangy and that's why you don't really catch it. So Lolly's got great ears, so she caught that registration change. Let's find that spot again, because I know that you guys will catch it too. There's like a distinct tone change, a just a tiny little shift that lets you know he's gone to that thin fold coordination. So let's find it. Yeah, let's go Dora. Just go back to do that one again. Yes, that's it. The no crack, no break. If you're not listening for it, you don't realize it's actually changed registers at all. No. Yeah. It's an absolute joy to listen to. Yeah. And it's one of those things that, you know, we have the analysis head on now, but afterwards, it, it, I just want to enjoy it, you know? Yeah. You just want to kind of sit in it, yeah. As soon as you've heard a vocalist control their voice in that way, you trust them now for the rest of oh, the yeah. performance. So as, yeah. a, as a listener, you just kind of... You can switch off. The, what else you got? Because I know you can control those folds like nobody's business, yeah. so... Yeah, and then yeah. so that's what's happening down here, and then the reflection of the resonance, it just travels so much as well. Mm. We've got oral resonance, we've got uh, nasal resonance. Yeah. Oh, he's so bright up there. Yes. Um, he is twanging the absolute, do you swear on this channel? Out of his voice up there. That's why it sounds so powerful, but he's in that second register. You can't tell as easily that he's changed registers because mm. of that tone, because of that resonance. So the reflection of, that, of those resonators up there. You also notice the, the teeth. I'd refer to sometimes uh, the twang as, as a knob. As a knob, yeah. So it's like the twang, because twang is customizable. Oh yeah, you can choose how much you want to put in your sound. The twang knob is... The, oh, oh, it's, it's right like up there. High percentage. That high metallic sound. More constriction in the pharynx, but not so much that he's choking on it. Precisely. Right. That still has something, but then I was to go, Aah! like that's, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> that was gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> we have more of that. Uh. I almost describe twang when it's dialed up so high mm. as like a battle axe being thrown. It should be so sharp. It can split whoever's listening to it in two. He is so powerful as a vocalist because of this. And it means he's going to be able to maintain it. Yeah. That is such an efficient sound. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah there's no sign of strain Ooh. extrinsically. Yeah. Um, Which is wild because when he went up and he was sustaining, you could, it looked like he was getting a little bit of a pop through his throat and then now nothing. When the tension is high sometimes as well, and mm. in these intense vocal performances, we do see the old vein of ruse here yeah. and there. But sometimes I find that as well, that that can just be a very high amount of pressure because there's a difference between just like raised veins and then actual constriction. Oh yeah, that amount of pressure all the time wow. isn't efficient always. It's more efficient if it's just pressure compared to if it's popping because of constriction. Yeah, so, of course. Yeah. yeah. Different degrees of efficiency. Yeah. I'm obsessed with efficiency. So. <laughs> but also just Can you do this for six hours? <laughs> yes, can yeah. you? No. <laughs> Probably not, no. Probably no, not. No. You need to keep going because, okay. oh sweetie, there is more. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a frame. That's a pretty Mercury energy. Look at those lip eyes. He actually did something really interesting with his lips. He kind of folded the, the top lip mm. over the top teeth. Ah! What does that do? Well, it just made you very twangy. Did it? Yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, and the crying to that one. I love those, those little back and vocal, just punctuating it. Oh, yeah, those back and vocals are really yeah. well, beautiful contrast because you've got twang, twang, woo, to the yes. point where it's like a, it's like a dog bark. Sound, yeah. That's oral AF. Yeah. If you try the woo, woo sound at home, you probably also feel your muscles down here automatically just being like, 
<laughs> That's the kind of support that you can use to start training support mm. because often your muscles aren't used to like being on in that Yet. way. It feels good in comparison. Definitely. Yeah. If a backing vocal has the same style and position of resonance as the lead, we can get a lot of kind of like this. <laughs> exactly. Like it is it very nice. Yeah. It's like, it's like, where's my, where's my, where's my lead vocalist? Are you, are you there? Where is it? No. <laughs> We can sing the same pitch with completely different uh, resonance placements and larynx positions and it doesn't sound conflicting. You know, if you can go... No. Oh, and, ah. But if we were both to do... Yeah. Ah, it's gone. Like, it's like... Where's my, where's my, where's my lead where's vocalist? My vocal? It lacks that fullness. It exactly. lacks that breadth in, yeah. this, in the sound. The tones that you're hearing is not just the pitch. Exactly. Beautiful. Could you try again? She didn't get it. She gets it. And he does it too. Oh, I prepared for that with the oh. Face help. <laughs> I loved it so much. When so he was in that kind of lower placement, and then when he switched it up, he switched the face on first, and it mm. will help redirect it. It probably doesn't take as much energy as what he's putting on stage, but because we see him do that, it's also an element of that performance engagement too. So, so true. It's yeah. Yes. Sometimes <sighs> things look like a lot of effort. It's not synonymous with vocal no, effort. not always. One of the things that always blew my mind about him is I can hear a lot of those like more glottally on and off sets in how he's choosing to do things in the verse. Yeah. Like, uh, 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 yes. And it sounds like it should be intensely constricted and he's got little movements that are happening with this. Yeah. But then... But the sound is free. He leaves it like that. It's, it's not a problem. It's resonating. At all. Off it pops into yeah. the chambers. Oh. The chamber of secrets. Also known <laughs> as the nasopharynx and noropharynx. <laughs> like 800 octaves and his face just didn't move he did have like very specific positions they were very specific with his face but the <laughs> other thing for me is i'm watching him move around this stage and physically he's so relaxed in between yeah. these things until he needs like and then whoosh, and yeah in. yeah frick i just adore him in this bit where it got a bit intense well not it was all intense what is he gonna do is he gonna how high is he gonna take it because yeah. he's just so in control this could equate to anything Mm. You yeah. know? So it's yeah, also yeah. that element of surprise. Yeah, I know. 
see. We need a C who does this. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting, there's a lot of resonance here. It's yeah. really good. It gives for, you that woofy sound. Yeah, it's very good for mm. attracting potential partners. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, I can play. Puffy cheeks again. And then no extra breath there. That was way down. So the control and movement of breath, you know, mm. when is this woo, woo? It's just like, it all comes out and that mm. subglottal pressure just mm. is it's not necessary. These kinds of things, to me that actually, it will bring the larynx slightly up, but then it can reset if you change mm. positions afterwards, like mm. fairly easily. Like a reset. It's like a reset. Like shaking yeah. an etch sketch It's like, yeah, it's like shaking an etch sketch Yeah. So I was obsessed when I first reacted to Jeff Tate because- oh, I get it. There were so many things that he was able to do with his voice, color wise in the beginning, I was just, I lost it in the beginning, I was just dead. Yeah. Um, and then, He's in that fifth octave for like almost three minutes. Yeah. And the fifth octave is no joke. And he's it's relaxed. It's no joke for anyone. He's relaxed. It is just absolutely insane. And seeing those like specific positions that he goes to, it's kind of awing to me. He's got them and they work for him and then he just leaves it so easily. Whereas sometimes you can get a little, you overcommit to a particular position and then you wind yes. up with tension and you get stuck there. And you would yeah. usually expect to hear some little uh, residual trail. tension. Residual yes, tension. Yes, residual tension. You're gonna hear some kind of little no. fry, some little instability, yeah. no. Nothing. It doesn't exist. You have to react to silent lucidity too. Silent lucidity. If you want his full range, yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> what do you mean his too. full range? No. <laughs> You've got to do silent lucidity now to fully understand. It takes so much out of you to perform like this at this energy level. Oh, of course. You have to have good cardio to do this. You know, oh, people God, yeah. talk about Beyonce like this all the time. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, rightly so. Because of course, like, yeah, she's insane. Immense control in terms of mm. breath pressure. And if you're getting out of breath just by running Just anyway, by moving around the stage. Just by moving around, then of course you can't control no. the breath pressure. <laughs> did, did you know that when we do this to breathe, <laughs> It's to yeah. stabilize so that we can get a little breath into the uh, clavicular area. I didn't know the that. chest cavity. And so that. that's what I do when I run. Oh. So can I run and do... I uh, just do it so I can drop my guts a bit more and pull more air in. Yeah. We call it monkey position in accent method. It's yeah. also good for twerking too. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to control the breath to this level just by standing still is one thing. But to oh, be able to yeah. control Pop it and up. do like a full... This is like a crossfit a Zumba yes. class. It's yeah. the physical activity that makes a good performer and they need to be fit in order to be able to do that properly so they can connect with you as an audience member because when you're a solo artist or a solo performer so not an artist it's a band your job is not just to sing no. it is to be able to connect with the audience and keep them there yeah you are the one who's donating a lot of energy yeah. to them um, yeah. when you're running around the stage same with instrumentalists but they're holding something it's a little bit harder there are some bands where like the guitarist will do like crazy stuff yes and i'm like this is insane the lead like, vocalist has the most capacity to move so their job depending on the style is to engage you in something that's suitable for their style maintain that breath pressure sing this flipping song <laughs> staying up in that fifth octave and fit enough to be able to move around the stage in the way that he does to engage in a way that's suitable for the style. It's, yeah. it's nuts. Not only is it is it a lot of stability and stuff, but it's stability with thin vocal folds and that's yeah. like a register. It's yeah, like, yeah. That He's is such trying. a vulnerable place yeah. to be in. He's seeding the amount of mass that he would use for his first register. He's actually a baritone. Yeah. Who is this man? There. <laughs> How he cries down. So when it goes from, it's and it's So he can make it seamless if he chooses. Yeah. But if he also chooses, he can come down. Yeah. Through that yeah, yeah. kind of cry, yeah. do you call it a cry position? Or like I call cry? it a cry because it really, it kind of likes to say, it's like a whine. He's, he's amazing. Is it just another yeah. layer of praise be to Jeff? <laughs> oh please, by all means, praise one of my favorite singers. He's one of your favorite singers? He's one of my favorite singers. I can yeah. totally see why. Oh my yeah. gosh, we have, we, have, we have a type. We have, we have, you and I. We have a type. <laughs> they must be named Jeff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> In terms of the, the tonal qualities and the ability to switch yes. and move resonance yeah. and all that kind of stuff, they have actually some yeah. similarities. We appreciate agile voices. Not necessarily that the 
note is moving fast, but that the mechanisms move fast. Absolutely, there's a big I difference. I just adore it. You wouldn't necessarily associate this singer with someone that has an agile voice, but mm. just because you're not hearing the, the changes the changes in the actual notes, yeah. you know, you're not hearing anything scalic, yeah. the voice is still moving. It's because it's still traveling to that mm. interval at a very fast rate. I thought the backing vocals were absolutely gorgeous. They blended beautifully with the rest of the rhythmic Oh yeah, so I should have said duh, 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 duh. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Like, yeah. It was a beautiful musical onion with lots of layers. <laughs> and musical Jeff onion. Jeff was the... Jeff was what? Jeff was just that. The whole onion. Are you going to eat that? That's we had a prime minister that ate an onion once. We'll never forget it. What, like, as part of his duty? Is that like a no. passage? <laughs> no, he just ate the onion. Just ate an onion. Just ate it. Point. We were like... What? That's a really strange flex. Do you want to tune in? Yeah. To watch me eat an onion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. You should show up with an onion when you react to silent lucidity. You already know. I've got the onion. Yeah. I'm going to peel it back yeah. next time. Mm -hmm. uh, but to, to sum up, yeah, one of your favourite singers, yeah, definitely one of mine. That Yay! was insane. That was gorgeous. And usually I need a little bit of distortion to put someone in right. my favourite singers list, but you don't need it with him because there's enough texture. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know? his storytelling. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it is French onion. <laughs> 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 I just I cringed before I said it. Thank you, Julia. Oh no, thank you for letting me show you Jeff Tate. I was I was like so excited to see what your response to it would be. I like this very much. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much for watching Julia and I absolutely lose our minds over the fabulous, multifaceted, layered onion Jeff. Jeff Tate in Queensryche. The Jeff band. Tate in Queensryche. Shout out to the band too. Shout out to the band. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It goes without saying. Go we should say it anyway. We said it. So yeah, we said it goes without saying. The band was wonderful. <laughs> yeah. And thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we have immensely enjoyed making it. If you would like to see me react to more singers, please do let me know in the comments or over on my Discord, as it would absolutely be my most joyous pleasure. Have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you next time, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> My headphones are falling. <laughs>